therapeutic drug monitoring. Inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, includes Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. If you have IBD and are taking certain medications, called biologics, then your gastroenterologist might suggest therapeutic drug monitoring for you. Since 2001, physicians have been increasingly prescribing TNF-alpha inhibitor biologics, which have revolutionized the treatment of IBD and other immune-mediated diseases. When taken appropriately, these medications are effective in reducing disease activity and symptoms, healing the damaged intestine, and improving quality of life for many IBD patients. Despite being in use for some time, we now know that there may be more intelligent way to use these drugs. Many patients respond well to the recommended dose, but some patients fail to respond, and others might respond initially and then lose their therapeutic benefit over time. Finding a correct dosage for everyone is challenging because the medication affects the body of each IBD patient differently. With experience, doctors have discovered that measuring medication and antibody levels in individual patients allows them to optimize treatment. For IBD patients taking biologics, the lowest level of medication present in the body, called serum trough levels, relates closely to how well patients do on these therapies. Patients in remission have trough levels that fall within a particular range. Canadian researchers have played a leading role in those discoveries. The goal of TDM is to maximize the clinical benefit of a medication while minimizing its side effects. In the fairy tale, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Goldilocks tried various dishes of porridge, chairs, and then beds before she found the one that was just right. TDM helps doctors find the just right treatment for their IBD patients. If the biologic dose is too low, then the patient will receive no clinical benefit and might build a tolerance to the drug, so doctors might increase the dose. If the dosage is too high, then the patient might experience side effects. The treatment becomes just right for the patient when there are few side effects as possible and the biologic can work as designed, yielding many benefits and an overall positive treatment outcome. TDM involves a precise blood test, which measures the amount of biologic medications circulating in your blood at a specific interval during your treatment. Your doctor will ask you questions about any symptoms you might have and will assess these in the context of the test results. If your symptoms return while undergoing treatment, then be sure to tell your healthcare professional. TDM can help pinpoint whether you need a dose adjustment to reclaim and maintain a positive response. Due to the complex nature of biologics and the unique biology of each individual patient, TDM offers a way to personalize treatment and increase positive outcomes. We expect that therapeutic drug monitoring will soon become the gold standard for IBD patients taking biologic medications as physicians strive to ensure patients' treatments are just right. I'm Dr. Remo Panaccioni, and on behalf of the Medical Advisory Council of the Gastrointestinal Society, thanks for watching. For more information on this topic, including other animations about IBD, visit www.batgut.org.